I just wanted you to know there are way more airplanes in the water than there are submarines in the sky. Today, I will be showing you the new, brand new Wuxin Ocean KG916 GMRS radio and scanner. The price for this new GMRS radio is $139. Affiliate link below. And Better Safe Radio did send me this new KG916 radio at no cost so that I could share it with you, my favorite viewer. But before sharing this new radio with you, I must first give you a dire warning. I have a terrible reputation for selling out radio stock when I do a new radio review. Or worse, drive up the price of the radio due to the immutable laws of supply and demand. You can hide from the laws of the FCC, but you cannot hide from the laws of capitalism. So if you decide that you want a new Wuxin Ocean KG916 radio, don't dilly-dally. I will keep this review video short and to the point I will not waste your time when you purchase the new Wuxin Ocean KG916 radio. When you open the box, you will receive a warranty card. You will receive a user manual. Now this is not the real actual user manual. This is a draft of the user manual. It is a short form user manual, more of a quick start guide, but it has everything in it that you need to know to use the radio. It is an excellent resource. It is written in perfect English and it contains everything you need to know to get up and running with your new Wuxin Ocean KG916 radio. And I should know because I helped to write this manual. You will receive a belt clip. The belt clip affixes to the radio, not to the battery. You will receive some tiny little screws for fixing said belt clip to the radio, as previously mentioned. You will receive this very handsome wrist strap for affixing the radio to your appendages. You will receive a battery charger. This is a four pin battery charger. I believe it to be a smart charger, but I don't know that for a fact. So don't quote me on that. You will also receive an AC adapter, which plugs into one end of the battery charger. You stick the other end in the holes in your walls. You then place the radio or the battery into the charger, thusly charging and adding electrical energies into the battery, which goes here. You will receive a battery. It is a 2600 milliamp hour battery. You will receive an antenna. The antenna screws onto the top of the radio. This antenna is tuned for GMRS frequencies. It has an SMA female adapter. That means in the middle, there is a hole. That's how you know that it's female. And you will receive the Wuxin Ocean KG916 handheld GMRS radio. Right off the bat, you will see that it is a simple design. It has a smaller screen, only one knob on the top. That is the power on off and volume knob. And the knob is very tight. That means that when you're using it in an active situation, it will be less likely that you accidentally turn it up or down by bumping it. Regular SMA male type connector that mates perfectly with its female cohort. Let's get the battery. In. Oh, I almost forgot the cover. It still has the new cover on it. Where was I before I got distracted? Oh yes, let's put the battery in. The battery goes in easily. It has a very bright flashlight with a dedicated orange man down type button. You can program that to do other things. On the side, you will find three programmable buttons, push to talk button, 
It has a regular K-type adapter for a programming cable or external microphone, hand mic, all those sort of things that the chicks love. You can see that it has a small screen with only one line of information, part of the very simple design, but it also has a full keypad, making it easier to program in the field. The radio can store 800 channels, and it comes pre-programmed with Better Safe Radio's 250 shit hit the fan and emergency channels for scanning and monitoring. Another very important warning about this radio, as I just mentioned, it comes with 250 pre-programmed channels. If you go onto the menus and you select the menu item that says reset, that will reset the radio and wipe it clean, including all of those pre-programmed channels. So don't go into the menus not knowing what you're doing and wipe it clean and then start complaining that you wiped it clean and that it's somehow Better Safe Radio's fault read the manual, the manual that I helped write. So it is a good idea to back up the radio, which you can do with the free software that you can download from Better Safe Radio's website. You will need a programming cable. It takes a standard K-type cable, same with the Baofeng radios, all those similar radios, which plugs in thusly. Using the software, you can then back it up and save the file to your computer. You can also use the software to program in channels. It's easier than doing it on the keypad, but you still can do all of your custom programming on the keypad. You can get the programming cable from Better Safe Radio for about $15. Affiliate link below. This is a GMRS radio, which means that you do need a GMRS license to transmit. If you're only listening or scanning, you do not need any license. But because it's a GMRS radio, it can only transmit on the GMRS channels, but it can receive everything from 400 megahertz up to 480 megahertz. And as I mentioned previously, it comes pre-programmed with 250, I think it's 251 channels, pre-programmed from that 400 to 480 megahertz range. Those are all government agencies, emergency channels, the sort of thing you would want to listen to in a shit hit the fan situation. It is IP55 rated, so it's not waterproof, but it is dust proof and moisture proof. So it's okay to get it moist. I got this little case for $26. Affiliate link below to help keep it protected and to help keep some of the moist out. But for the purposes of this review, I prefer to keep it naked. The radio is very easy to use. You see my customized, maybe you didn't see that. Let's do that again. Watch the screen. NAR, that's my customized startup message. You can add that in with the software. That's the one thing you cannot do directly on the keypad. Everything else you can do through the menus. As I previously mentioned, there's only one knob. So to change the channels, you have to use the up and down arrow keys. Some of the channels have little prefixes, postfixes, letters at the end of the channel indicating what type of channel it is. And the little letters are explained very clearly in the user manual that I helped write. But the first channels are the regular standard 22 GMRS channels. And then after that, the repeater channels. And then it goes into the pre-programmed emergency channels. Menu functions are pretty much like every other radio. Go through and select your option. Press menu again. Use the up and down arrow key to select your setting. Hit menu again to save it. So I just changed that from high power to low power. As now indicated by the tiny L down there. And the one very important feature, the one that everybody asks about, the Roger Beep. Yes, it does have a Roger Beep. To enable it, hit menu, press up or down. EOT means it will give the Roger Beep at the end of transmission. BOT means it will give it at the beginning of the transmission. Off, we don't want that. Both means it will beep at the beginning and at the end. It will double end you. I like my Roger Beep at the end of my transmission. The very well-written manual goes over every single option, so you know what they're for, but right out of the box, you can simply turn it on, put it on whatever channel you want to talk to, tell your friend to put his radio on the same channel, and you can then talk. The Wuxin Ocean KG916 is a super
Perhetrodyne receiver. That means that it's more sensitive than the less expensive SOC system on a chip type radios, and it's less prone to static and noise from adjacent frequencies. Less of those electricities will get in and make their way out of the speaker. And the squelch actually works, unlike on many of the cheaper SOC type radios. The radio is rated at 4 watts. That means that the battery will last a little bit longer, but let's just check to make sure that it does actually squeeze out 4 watts as advertised. I have my Surecom 102 SWR and power meter that I will quickly connect. So I will press the power button here and we will see the power output right up here in that small number up in the upper right. 4.2 watts, that was on channel 17. 4.13 watts on channel 1. 4.13 watts on channel 22 and on a repeater channel, which is in the 467 megahertz transmitting range. 4.2 watts. Now, as I might have already mentioned in my previous mumblings, 4 watts means that the battery will last a little bit longer than a 5 watt radio and you will never see the difference in FARs when transmitting at 4 watts versus 5 watts. But some people, some people will tell you that at only four watts, that's just a piece of cheap Chinese junk. You'll be lucky if you can talk a couple of blocks with that cheap Chinese radio. So to help me prove again that some people are just idiots and should be ignored, I have my friend Chris standing by 10 miles away in that direction. Now, as everyone knows, Chris is the real star of this show. Everybody tunes in to see Chris, not me. And many members of the newly formed Chris Fan Club have asked to see more of Chris. So for all of Chris's fans, here is a sexy selfie of Chris while he was playing with his radio from earlier this morning. So with Chris's help, let's see if all of those experts were right. 530, Chris, do you copy? Yes, sir, I copy, loud and clear. Chris, many of those online radio experts have told us that there's no way one of these cheap Chinese radios could talk more than just a few blocks. Can you tell me how far away you are, sir? I am 10.1 uh, miles south, I would say southeast of you, sir. 10 miles away, he seems to be coming in loud and clear, and actually the audio on this is much better. You probably can't hear it through my microphone, the microphone that many of the online experts said was a cheap piece of junk. You still probably won't be able to tell through the YouTubes that the audio is very clear, very deep. It makes Chris sound even sexier. I don't know if it has a bigger speaker inside, but it does sound better than most other radios. Chris sounds extra sexy. So Chris, if someone were to say that you could only talk for a few blocks on one of these radios, what would you call those? What would be the official word for those people? I would call that person an idiot, sir. There it is. It's official. When those experts say that you can only talk a few blocks, you'd be lucky to get a mile with one of those cheap Chinese toys. They're idiots. So not only am I able to talk to Chris 10 miles away with only four watts, I'm also able to hit all my Favorite repeaters, 30 miles away in that direction, 69 miles away in that direction. Yes, it is actually 69 miles. Why would I make up a number like that? Proving once again that many of those online experts using Chris's words are idiots. So should you buy the new Wuxin Ocean KG916 GMRS radio and emergency scanner? If you want a radio, a good radio that can talk many FARs, is simple to use, and comes pre-programmed with hundreds of emergency channels, then yes, but don't dilly-dally.